What's up everybody, Jack here from Half Chrome. Today I wanna to talk about my five favorite drones that you can get for less than $200. Okay, so if you can bump your price range up to $200 from $100, you're gonna get some things on these drones that just make them better. First, motors, a lot of times they're gonna be brushless. Brushless motors are more efficient and more powerful. And you don't typically find them on drones that are less than $200. Once you get in that $200 up range, make sure you have brushless motors. Also, you're gonna to start to get some image stabilization, whether it's using a gimbal or electronically, it's gonna to start to smooth out some of that. And we're not talking about professional grade footage, but it is something you can be proud of if you're showing your friends and family. But when you're spending $200 instead of $400, again, there are some trade-offs. Sometimes you're gonna get some propellers in the shots, specifically up in the corners, <laughs> and some of these companies aren't known for the quality control. So sometimes you get a really good product and sometimes not so much. But I do think these drones that I'm talking about today are pretty solid and they're really good tools to start to learn on. Now, if you're thinking about, um, you know, upgrading in the future, this is a decent place to start. So stay tuned and we'll talk about my five favorite drones you can get for less than 200 bucks. All right, I'm gonna start with this guy. This is the ZLL Beast Pro Max, and it is a solid drone. It actually has a three axis gimbal, pretty decent. Now, again, not professional grade quality, but pretty good pictures and video. Now the Beast Pro Max here starts at just under $200 and that's with this obstacle avoidance sensor. Now it's not really super practical. It kind of keeps you from flying anywhere. So I would save 20 bucks and get this drone without it. Now it has a range of up to 1200 meters. That is our C-Link, really about a quarter of a mile, which you're gonna get video for. And it does have a flight time of about 25 minutes. Now the video is 4K, but the sensor isn't fantastic. So, you know, don't get caught up in 4K. Um, you know, it's gonna be a good 1080p, more or less. I actually kind of prefer the pictures coming out of this thing rather than the video. It does come in a nice carrying case and you get a couple extra goodies when you buy a drone like this. Overall, the ZLL is a decent place to start. All right, the next drone on my list is the Femi A3. Now, I really like this drone out of Xiaomi. It's a little bit older, and it was definitely more than $200 when it was released. Now, it does have a two-axis gimbal, and the third axis is stabilized electronically, and it is 1080p. But don't let that fool you. Again, this 1080p is going to be just as good, if not better, than a lot of the 4K drones in the same price range. This one, unlike most of the other ones I'm talking about, has its own dedicated video screen. It's actually an analog video signal, which is kind of nice. You can even fly this thing with fat sharks if you want. Plus, you don't have to worry about bringing your phone along for the ride. It does have a handful of intelligent flight modes. And if you're thinking about getting this drone, I'd snap it up before they disappear as Femi's kind of focusing on their mini line drones and not this one, which is part of the reason this thing is less than $200. Okay, my next drone list isn't actually a drone, but if you're thinking about getting into FPV, what I suggest you do isn't buy a drone, it's buy a remote controller. And this is the Radio Master TX16S. It's kind of the blinged out version, which you don't necessarily have to get. But if you wanna learn how to fly FPV, the best way to do it is to buy a radio that is solid and works really well. This is my favorite. I've flown a ton of them and I love this thing. Plus it's multi-protocol, so you can fly all sorts of different drones with this thing, whether it's a, a tiny E010, Hubson, uh, FlySky, FRSky, uh, Spectrum, you name it, this thing can fly it. You can get a standard looking one uh, and save a few extra dollars, but make sure you get one with Hall sensor gimbals. They're just really nice. Now, after you picked up your radio, find a good simulator and download it on your computer. I've tried a few, FPV Freerider, Velocidrome, but my favorite is Liftoff. I, I just feel like it's the most real to life and you can do some customization. There are lots of different tracks. You can fly freestyle, racing, all sorts of good stuff. But if you're thinking about getting an FPV, grab a radio, get a simulator and get to work. That's the best way to do it. But if you're like, Jack, no, I don't want to fly on a computer. I want a real FPV drone. Then I'd look into one of the beta FPV kits. There are three of them. Uh, you can get brushless 65 millimeter, 75 millimeter drones, or now they even have a brush motor drone uh, called the Cetus that has optical flow and it's really easy to fly. All three of these are good beginner packages. You get the drone, you get the remote, you get the goggles, you get batteries, you get a charger, you can get a case to bring it all with you, and they're all less than $200. So if you're thinking about getting into flying FPV and you don't wanna go the simulator route, get a tiny whoop, definitely a good place to start, and gonna be less than $200. 
All right, the next drone on my list actually appeared in the under 100 drone category, and it's the Rise Tello. This thing is actually just really nice. <laughs> I love this drone. It is what I recommend to most people. Yeah, it's $99, still under 200. Um, it has image stabilization. Uh, it's rock solid, it's steady. This is just a really fun drone to fly. You can program it to fly autonomously. You learn learn how to code with this. It's a great little drone. Now it is limited in range to, um, you know, to Wi-Fi connected to your phone. So really like a hundred meters is probably about as far as you can go, if that on a good day. Um, but it's still a fun little drone. Now, it is a brushed motor drone, so it isn't going to be quite as efficient, but you still get about 10 minutes of flight time out of one of these things. This is definitely something you might want to consider. Okay, these next two drones, uh, they didn't quite make the cut, but I'm going to talk about it anyway because I do like them. Uh, they're just not one of my five favorites. This is the ZLL 108 Pro. Um, or the Yan 2, and it's kind of like a mini style drone. Uh, it does have brushless motors, handful of intelligent flight modes. It's fun to fly. You get a flight time of about 25 minutes and a range of almost half a mile, probably quarter miles, a little bit more realistic. Now it does have a gimbal here, but it doesn't work quite as well. So it's not gonna be nearly as stable as some of the other drones. Plus it's smaller, so it gets tossed around in the wind a little bit. But if you want something small, decent option, a little bit bigger than the Tello. This here is a drone that goes by a whole lot of different names, Contexto, Ruku, F11, uh, but really it's made by SJRC. The SJRC F11 Pro is a quote-unquote 4K drone. It does have brushless motors, intelligent flight modes, just like everything else. Um, it's actually very similar to the Beast Pro that I talked about at the start of this video. The flight time on this thing is going to be about 25 minutes, and you get a range of almost half a mile. Again, I think a quarter mile actually for most of these drones is probably about where you're going to max out. A Femi A3 does a little bit better, but not a whole lot. Okay, so the last drone on my list is probably my favorite, and I'm kind of cheating a little. This is the MJX Bugs 16 Pro, and right now it's $240, but I do suspect the price on this is going to drop a little bit. So if you can stretch your budget just a little bit, you're gonna get a full three axis gimbal, uh, electronic image stabilization as well, um, and it's got a really good 4K camera. Now it is definitely better in terms of camera quality than the other drones on this list. This is a more stable drone. Now, the flight time is about 28 minutes and the range again shy of half a mile i think this one is actually 600 meters um, but i really do like this drone it's probably my favorite mjx product and i really like a lot of the drones that mjx built but if i had to stay under 200 i'd actually still choose an mjx drone as my favorite and as the mjx bugs 12. Like the Bug 16, the Bugs 12 is a foldable drone, um, and it doesn't have a gimbal, but it does have electronic image stabilization, and it actually does a really good job. Now, the specs on the Bugs 12 are comparable to the other ones in this price range. Um, again, I do like the camera a little bit better. Flight time is about 21 minutes, and the range is about 400, 500 meters. So at the end of the day, if your budget is $200, these are all pretty decent options. You know, you got to kind of figure out which one you like, which one looks best, which one suits your needs. Uh, but there's also other options out there. Now, if you can find a DJI Mini that's used, maybe a Spark, I, I like those drones. They're pretty solid. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of the Hubson Xeno, but for 200 bucks, if you can find one of those, that's a deal as well. So there are a lot of good drones out there for about 200 bucks. Now, if you can stretch your budget to three or $400, you're really gonna get a better drone, right? That's just kind of how these things work, right? It's just out of reach. You gotta spend a little bit more money to get a little bit more quality, uh, but, at the end of the day, if you're just looking for something to start on, these are all good starter drones. So what do you guys think? Did I miss something? Is there a drone on this list that I didn't include? Leave it in the comments below and let me know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumb it down, tell us what we did wrong, and we'll do better next time. Now, if you're thinking about buying any of these products, there are links down below to all of them. Yeah, they're affiliate links, but that's how you can help support this channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it will help us. We do give away a drone at least once a month to a lucky Patreon subscriber. Details on that, again, in the video description. And if you haven't already, check us out on halfchrome.com where we have more detailed information on all of these drones plus others. Hey, good luck everyone and happy flying.